What's happening guys, this is my video on the top 10 launchers for the Galaxy S4. Since the Galaxy S4 is a full HD device, I had some questions hitting my mind like the launcher quality might degrade or we have some or we might have some graphic issues with it. So I have compiled 10 best launchers really well suited for the full HD devices like the S4, HTC One, Xperia Z, Butterfly and so on. So let's begin the countdown. So guys, uh, before proceeding, I'd like to say that uh, in this video, I will be showing you the top 5 launchers and I'll be coming up with a part 2 very soon. So let's go ahead. So the first one here is the TSF Cell. So guys, I'm not doing an in-depth review of all these launchers here. Just a quick look and a demo of it. And uh, just to show you that these all launchers runs really good on S4 and other SD devices. So uh, here we have the TSF launcher and we have really cool animations and stuff with this launcher. So for in-depth review you can check out the Cursed Forever channel. So uh, you have this cool sort of you know transition effects on your app drawer. You don't have any particular app drawer button here. You have all your screens here. And uh, you also can apply themes to it like I have the DCK icons theme here. So that's good you know you can add themes and stuff. Uh, moving on to the app drawer, you also can uh, change the transition effects like this. You have this preview here. Okay. So, there you go. You have this cool sort of uh, transition effect. You also can do a lot of additional settings here. You can uh, do more settings from here for your themes, gestures, density and so on. Uh, the density is, you know, say if you are using this launcher for your tablets, you can do that uh, density setup. So moving on to preferences, you can uh, do your customizations for your app drawer, desktop, that's the home screen. Uh, you can uh, choose wallpapers, uh, preferences and so on. You also can add gestures to it like double tap, swipe up, pinch in, pinch out. You can do this custom settings uh, as in you can give in your custom action for it. Create folders, uh, dock and stuff. So that's really nice. Again, you, you can uh, pull this icon and uh, place it anywhere you like on any of your screen. You can do uh, additional stuff. You have this cool sort of animation when you move around on your home screens. If you tap and hold it, you have additional options for your shortcuts, widgets, preferences, wallpapers and setting. So the launcher runs a really smooth, no issues. So guys, as you can see, uh, my status bar is hidden. You also can enable it, going on to preferences, desktop. And here we have so notification bar. So this is how it works. So you can do all those customizations and stuff. You can uh, also overlap these icons. That's an extra level of customization here. So guys, the launch is really smooth. We don't have any issues regarding this launcher. You have a lot of, you know, cool sort of things with this launcher here. So that's my number one. So guys, the next one here is the Windows 8 launcher. You get the complete Windows phone experience using this launcher. Uh, you also can uh, go on to phone and you can launch your application here. And in case if any of your tile is not working, you can bind applications. Say for example, for music, uh, you have this music player binded, say for the Play Store. We don't have anything on this tile. So what you need to do is just go onto it, you know. You have to hit bind application and select the Play Store. Okay, here. Now you hit apply. Now you open it, the Play Store launches. So you have these uh, settings, just a moment guys. So guys, moving on to preferences now. Okay, you can edit uh, all your tiles here. You can tap and hold it and uh, bring it down, bring it up like this. And you also can uh, change the theme. You can set the tile theme, say red. Uh, you can do the tile alpha and the style padding and stuff, background color, system wallpaper, status bar. You can, you know, choose the Windows 8 uh, status bar, okay, like this. And uh, you can do this uh, system th settings, uh, sorry, the launcher settings. So here you see the change. Again, you also can do a lot of uh, customizations from here uh, for your theme and stuff. You also have this Windows 8 lock screen with this launcher There you see. So with this launcher, you have a complete Windows phone experience. So that's my number two. Moving on. 
So guys, the next one here is the Smart Launcher. This launcher is really different from all the other launchers. As you can see, the interface itself is completely different. You have the time, uh, day and the date here. You have all your apps here. You can uh, you know directly access these applications. You also can add or customize these uh, tiles here, these circle kind of tiles here. You have this app drawer here. Just a moment, guys. Okay. So, uh, you know, this is the app drawer. You have this vertical kind of scrolling. And here, what you can do is you also get this sidebar with this launcher. So how it exactly works is, say, you know, if you, you know, create a folder, say, for example, I have this internet, you know, if I tap and hold it, I can move it to this uh, internet category. Again, uh, if I have this flipboard, I can move it to this, uh, okay, say, gaming or say the entertainment category. Okay, even the video player. Okay, and now what I do is on my home screen, I make a swipe, I go on to this folder, I have these apps. So this is how it works. You, you also can add, you know, wallpapers to it. You also can uh, do your customizations for this launcher. Moving on to settings, you know, the status bar, visibility and so on, always hidden and so on. Uh, screen rotation, uh, sorry, the screen orientation, uh, active mode. So you can do your basic customizations here. Going on to personalizations, you can customize the UI of this uh, launcher. You can select the theme. I have the DCK icons. This is the default one. Okay, let me just quickly show it to you. Okay, there you go. Again, you can uh, choose the clock style. There you see. So you can do all these uh, various kind of uh, settings here for your widgets and so on. So you also can download widgets and additional stuff. So that's my number three. So the next one here is the Nova Launcher. This is one of the best launcher for any Android device of all time. You know, you have loads of customization options, really simple, very minimalistic and really fast and smooth. Moving on to the preferences, we have the desktop settings. You can customize your home screens, desktop grid, uh, width, margin and stuff, scroll effect, uh, infinite scroll, you know, if you continuously move on to your home screen, you will come back to your home screen. Again, uh, going back, you also can customize your drawer, app drawer, you can set your transparency label, scroll effect, and uh, all these kind of settings. You can customize your dock uh, as as in we have this uh, swipeable dock here we have the secondary dock as well again just a moment guys we also can you know change the look and feel that is you can change the color and uh, we also can change the icon theme as well i have the dck icons installed let me just quickly show it to you so here we have it so guys this launch also provides you with you know additional options like say in case if you want to change your icon for any certain apps tap and hold it hit edit tap onto it go to icon pack go to any icon packs you have installed and you will get a list just a moment okay there you go so you can choose any of the uh, icon you like and hit okay there you see again you have you know very cool transition effects this cube kind of and it's really fast really smooth no lags as you can see uh, these are the widgets and it takes uh, some time to load for the first time so as you can see it's uh, really fast no lags at all so that's pretty much it so the last one here in my list is the next launcher 3d this is the trial version but you can upgrade to the pro version that provides you with additional functionality this launcher really have some cool transition effects and 3d kind of effects to it say whenever you make a selection you see this uh, you know glare kind of effect that you see you can add themes to it go on to menu you have additional options you can add widgets wallpapers under personality you can add widgets uh, icon editor and so on you also can add themes here so right now i'm using this uh, peaceful theme and it's really simple really nice you can go on to wallpaper widgets applications so for widgets you also can get the next music widget uh, switch and other widgets from the next a launch itself but uh, you need to get the pro version for it here you have this you know uh, what do you say this speed switcher this helps you scroll through all your home screens like this you either can move it here at this side uh, just a moment and just do this really cool 
you can uh, moving on with the app drawer you have this cool you know 3d cube kind of effect and whenever you do the selection see the glare so you also have additional functionality with this uh, pro version going on to preferences you can uh, customize your you know visual settings screen settings app drawer settings effect settings uh, that gives you this all kind of you know transition effects and so on so you need to upgrade for that icon menu effect you also can get various icon packs and themes so this launch is really fast really smooth works really good looks good as you can see pretty decent so that's all for this video guys i will be coming up with the part two very soon with another set of good launches so stay tuned any feedback is highly appreciated thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great day bye bye now